Um, <clears throat> so you have a Bachelor of Commerce Honours in Business Informatics. You have a Bachelor of Commerce in Information Systems. And, um, and quite interestingly, you started doing accounting. You started off doing accounting, you know. <laughs> Tell us that story. <laughs> So going into varsity, I I did not know like a lot of courses that are available. I did not have a lot of information, which I think unfortunately is the story of a lot of black kids. True. You know, there's a university, but you also don't know what to study. And I think that's also why I started doing um the youtube um, videos on what information systems is mm -hmm. just to help other people know what's out there all i knew is that there was accounting because everybody wanted to be a chartered accountant in high school and i, I account and i just counting and what a disaster sure i struggled with accounting struggled so much with accounting and yeah i ended up changing to information systems i was like i can't do this so unfortunately me changing meant that i had to do another year so i had to start again from scratch almost because i had to catch up on information systems but yeah accounting was not for me i'm not a numbers person when i see numbers my brain just freezes if i see excel spreadsheets i'm just in shock so well, it was just a horrible year mm -mm. so how do you get information systems like how did you what did you hear about it maybe from some people or did you do it as a side cause and be like i can do this how did you get finally get to be like okay this is what i'm gonna do information systems so information systems was a semester course i think we did information systems for the first or semester course but it was just six months and we that's when i got exposed to oh is this what information systems is and the lectures for information systems used to come into our classes and give us more information about what exactly this course is because i think they know that not a lot of people are are aware of what exactly is information systems so they would always squeeze themselves in to say guys there's this course information systems you can change yeah i think it was first semester then they said to us you can change from accounting so you are still on the lecturers then uh the the information system lecturers they come in and they tell you guys about information system and that you can change yeah so we did information systems as one of the courses for become accounting and you would do it for the first six months, it was a semester course. But then after class, um, the information systems lectures would come and sort of like motivate students to say, no, you guys can change to information systems. This is what information systems is. These are the career options available. Because I, I think there were not a lot of students who enrolled for information systems because we didn't really understand what information systems is. I know IT, that there's courses in IT, but I've never heard about information systems. And I was just like, no, I'm going to be unemployed once I take this course, so I'm not taking it. And second semester came and accounting was really hard and I regretted my decision. So I went into their offices and I told them I actually want to do it this information system thing because I hate accounting. I did some research on Google on what exactly it is. And they said, unfortunately, it's late. You were supposed to come at the beginning of second semester. So you have to wait until the end of the year and enroll again, like first semester. But because you've already done first semester, we'll credit you for that. You'll have to wait for second semester, then you can carry on and be registered officially as a BCom Information Systems graduate. And that's what I did. The next year, February, when we were, um, Going back to varsity, I enrolled for information systems. I changed my degree to a BCom in information systems. And then second year, I was able to then continue. And yeah, so unfortunately, it added one extra year, but it was worth it. I don't regret it at all. And as they say, the rest is history. 
Yeah, show the rest of the history. <laughs> because I, I used to attend with some, I used to do applied maths. Yes. And I remember also people who are doing computational applied maths, they also, some of them, they took um, information systems. I remember hearing the yes. word IS, IS, IS. And I was just like, well, well, okay, in my mind, it was, in my mind, it was something in computer science. I was just like, surely this is something in computer science and everything like that. So then you get in and you do information systems. Is it like now live at first sight and you're like, now this is the thing for me. This is dope. Sure. It was love at first sight. I actually regretted not changing on time or not from the get-go applying for information systems. I enjoyed it. Although there was a bit of coding, and I think that's what I had issues with, um, learning how to code mm. and coding. And like you're saying, we attended with people who did mathematics and people who did computer science, and they were very good in coding. I remember you'd write an, a, a test in the lab, and my code would just be failing. <laughs> and then I look at somebody from computer science, and their program is running. Ooh. But, you know... <laughs> I think with everything that's good, there is a challenge. And that was my only challenge. It was computer. I mean, it was the coding. But once I got over that and we were done with the coding courses, it was just, I never regretted a thing. I just knew that this was the thing that I was meant to do. And the, is that what got you, into, got you into business analysis? Like being a business analyst, would you say maybe someone from information systems, their, their career direction can be in that way? So in information systems, because the course um, gives you like a lot of job opportunities, they give you a project. So in third year, we did the project and then they gave us roles to say, okay, if you want this project to be successful, you need a developer who's going to code everything and make sure the program runs. You need a systems analyst who will analyze the different systems, how they talk to each other. And then you need a business analyst. The business analyst will do the documentation. And you also have a project manager who's running everything and making sure everything works. So through that, it's like throughout the whole information systems course, they do teach you to say you as, as somebody who's going to get this degree, these are the different jobs that mm. you can do. And we do short courses within information systems about the different jobs available. And I think that helps you understand that, oh, with this degree, I can actual these but yeah that's when i was actually thinking i was going to be a project manager and that didn't work out and then i moved into being a business analyst you know like th there is um well for me at least um some i get i have some confusion because initially when i thought of information systems i was thinking of it like um these people probably they deal with some information but i wasn't sure as what do they do with the information so i just classed you guys with the data people and i classed you guys with computer science students i was just like ah probably those are the people who do these things and stuff like that but um when we come back here i want you to take us through what is this information systems like to the core what is the whole thing all about because i feel like yes i'm i'm misinformed you know about that you know <laughs> Okay, so what is what does information systems actually entail? What is this course all about? Yeah, information systems is such an interesting course. Um, yeah, it's very interesting because you're not really studying one particular subject. And I think it's because of how technology is moving and how there's just a lot of things that are happening out there in terms of technology. So for information systems, they usually break it down into different courses just to make sure that when you leave, you, you are well-rounded in terms of you understand what is out there and you can work basically anyway because of what you've learned. So... For example, for information systems, because it's a BCom um, degree, so you do all the BCom um, subjects. 
So I did marketing, management, I think HR also. And I think that's where the people aspect of information systems comes in because you learn how to deal with different people. You learn marketing, you learn all these more, yeah, people-based um, qualifications or skills. And then when it comes to the actual information systems course, you study coding. So coding is just also they break it down usually to semester courses. So you'll study course coding for six months. Then you'll study business intelligence in terms of doing um, data. What are the tools that are out there that you can use to do um, all these data things, data mining and data engineering and all of that. Then they also teach you soft skills like they'll teach you business analysis to say as a business analyst, here's a problem tackle it the way a business analyst would do it. They give you systems analysis um, thing. So maybe you'll do a systems analysis course for six months and you know, you learn all these things. So it's basically piecing together all these different things. Cause I think there was also a course around uh, Twitter, um, Facebook, Instagram, how they work and everything. So basically they just tried to give you as much information into what technology is, what people do in the technology space, and then it's up to you to just and run with it. I think it's a great cause for, it's so, it, it is very relevant to our times because I think the things that you've just mentioned right now, quite a lot of, you know, things that I think they are so much relevant because I then think, or I then can say that maybe for someone who wants to be a business analyst, this is the best cause. Am I wrong? No, you're not. Because it teaches you a lot. It doesn't like make you a specific specialist or whatever, but it gives you a lot of skills also. It's like they give you skills more than anything to say, if you're a business analyst, you'll deal with people and you know, you have at the back of your mind, your management course to say, oh, when I was doing management, this is how we dealt with it. But if you want to be technical, then you have your coding to say, this is how we did coding. You also do stats. So you understand a bit of the stats there for the coding. So it's just a very interesting course. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So the industries that one can actually end up being in after this course, um, I mean, banking, technology is the things that come to my mind right now. And these are the spaces that you have been in, finance as well, I think, mm -hmm. well, I presume, or even academia. I mean, so, you know, briefly tell us about the industries that one can actually venture into. Again, the industries, are, it's, it's not limited because remember, technology is everywhere. Even in farming, there's technology. So if you want to use your skills and venture into farming, do some analytics, I don't know, on what, on the cows and when they decide to, I don't know, like, you know, <laughs> you can venture into any industry. So, of course, in South Africa, I think like um, the banks, it's a big industry because they hire a lot of people. There's a lot of innovation in the banks and all of that. But you also have insurance companies. You have audit firms. Um, people work in audit firms. You can work anywhere. So it's it's not something to say you have to work in a specific industry. As long as there's technology and technology can be a computer and a desktop, there's definitely a need for somebody who has studied information systems. So there's people who do, um, like they place them in um, specific industries to say, okay, you can work here and help this team out. They need this, so come up with solutions. That's what I'm saying, you can work in a way, can even work at a gym company, Virgin Active. I'm sure there's innovations that they mm -hmm. always think on how to get people to gym at a certain time. How do we track how many people are there? When you swipe in at your um, your gym, how many people swiped in at that specific time? So it's all those things that information systems people do. They sit there, they analyze, and they come up with those type of innovations. So literally anyway. I love the versatility, man. And I think it's it's very agile. Well, it also yeah. responds to the times and everything like that. So, you know, you know, like, you know, cost chows, you know, or they say that yeah. maybe, <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe for some of you, it wasn't, you know. <laughs> 
everyone. <laughs> this gives you the edge. We all get the edge. Yeah. So now I can imagine somebody who's going to watch this and be like, yo, this course is chowing. What are the strategies that I can use to maneuver this thing I mean, maneuver this cause and stuff like that um how do you pass this sure i actually had somebody ask me that question so because of my youtube channel and i had sent there's my email address there then a lady said sure i'm struggling with this course and it's it's like every other course, like you just said, course is chowing. There's no course that you will get into and say, ah, it's cruising all the way. I'm just in three years, I'll be out of here, I get my degree. It's never like that. But for information systems, it's a lot of theory at times, especially, specific, like, especially in terms of the courses that you choose or is it your elective courses? Yeah. It's elective. So I did a lot of theory courses. So that means it's a lot of studying. It's a lot of trying to find ways in which you as an individual can study. Some people go to the library. They're able to study in the library. I could never go to the library. So I studied in my room. So it's you setting up your own strategies. When it comes to coding, it's practicing. You can't study coding at night and say, tomorrow I'm writing a coding test or exam, it's never going to work. So it's you being able to set time and say, every day I'm going to sit and code. Every day I'm going to open my textbook and do this. So it's about consistency, doing your work constantly at a specific time. And that's the only way you will do it. Of course, if you have study groups, they'll help you there and there. But at the end, it's about you being consistent with studying and setting up your own time. And bursaries? There are a lot of bursaries out there. Uh, I think all the companies that offer bursaries, they do offer information systems bursaries. I know um, accounting firms like your, is it your big four, big three accounting firms, sure. they offer bursaries for information systems and just a lot of the companies, like most of the tech companies, if you're using a cell phone, you're using an Apple cell phone, a Samsung cell phone, I'm sure there's a bursary out there for somebody who's studying information systems. If you're using an HP, laptop, Lenovo, go on that website and check. So anything that has to do with IT most probably will offer an IT related um, bursary. And starting further, because I see you, you actually did your honors, I think at UNISA and you even have a video on your YouTube about that. Um, like when somebody goes for an honors, post-grad and stuff like that, what kind of advices can you give to those people? Honors and, uh, or any post-grad, I think I've learned that it is, it's your journey to do on your own. I think with a degree in information. So what a lot of people actually do is that once they have that degree in information systems and then they are working, then just to keep up with the times, they just do short courses. Like you can go on the different websites and you yeah. can just do short courses and that just equips you to always keep up with the times. But if you want to do a postgraduate degree, then you can just enroll and do it, but you must know that it's a journey that is specific to you because working and studying is not easy. Even if you are just studying and you say, no, I'll push up until my honors level, it's never easy. So you just need to know what your end goal is, why you're doing that specific qualification and just push for it. So would you recommend somebody to get the undergrad and after the undergrad do the honors or maybe let them go to work first, get the feet of things, and then maybe do postgrad thereafter. I mean, we can see the state of the economy. Getting jobs is not easy. And, you know, yeah. you have a lot of people with qualifications who are sitting at home who are unemployed. So my advice is that once you get that undergrad, go work. Like, the nice thing about an information systems um degree is that you don't really need to study further it's not 
it's not like maybe psychology where you need mm. to have your masters and your phd mm. with your degree you can get a job and your work experience can actually push you to you know better job opportunities and all of that and like i said once a lot of people start working then they do certificates online can do a microsoft certificate amazon certificate and that just shows that you are constantly learning and interested so for me it's just get your degree and look for a job look for a graduate program or apply for an entry level job then once you in you can study further if you want to so learning never stops eh sure learning never stops <laughs> because i see i see that especially when you're in corporate because when i was looking at your profile as well i see that you've done some certificates you know and and and, and that i'm like hey <laughs> <laughs> but i enjoy learning i think one of the things i hate to love about myself is that i enjoy learning and i hate it because once i'm inside i'm just like oh what have i done because course is chowing i'm yeah. working you have to juggle everything but i i enjoy learning so that's why i always do these certificates or apply for something and see if i can just learn further yeah no it's a good thing i think it's a good thing um 